How machine vision works is not necessarily the easiest technology to explain or to understand. Think of the old saying that a picture is worth a thousand words, and you start to realize how much information there really is in one image. It's something we often take for granted in our own sense of sight. Creating techniques that give machines the ability to recognize, assess, and compile this visual information requires tremendous creativity to break down vision into specific processes. This is exactly what machine vision software does. Machine vision uses a combination of hardware that includes an almost unlimited range of cameras capable of seeing parts of the spectrum or events with capacity and accuracy that is simply impossible for humans to do. For the purposes of this video, we will focus on only a handful of the basic machine vision techniques. Do not make the mistake, however, to assume that these basic vision tools produce only basic results. A hammer, saw, wood plane, and chisel, when put into the right hands, results in some of the most significant creations ever known. JDEC is an industry leader in medical machine vision, with a staff of the most highly trained and expert engineers in the science of machine vision. JDEC engineers provide our customers with the ability to take on the most challenging problems specific to medical vision. These same engineers have also created a machine vision software package called Clarity. Clarity is intended to allow the end user to create machine vision solutions on their own. Clarity is based on plug-in vision tools, executed according to a scripted job list to accomplish machine vision tasks. This video will highlight these plugins and the associated icons and visuals to help illustrate these machine vision building blocks. There are six machine vision plugins, Object Count, Pattern Match, Presence Absence, Decode, Finder, and Measure. Let's get started. We're going to start with count. Obviously everything is based on an image, and in this case it's an image of seven M&Ms. Count starts with establishing an ROI, or region of interest. This is accomplished by dragging an expandable dotted rectangle over the image to enclose the candies. As we expand this rectangle, you see the M&Ms become filled with different colors and an object count is tracking the number of blobs, as they're called. Pass-fail requirements can be defined that confirm the maximum and minimum number of objects required. The next plugin to look at is Pattern Match. When using the Pattern Match plugin, you're presented with Pattern Training. This is where you have to teach Clarity what constitutes the pattern that has to be matched. You can select either Pixel Matching or Edge Pattern Matching. In this case, we are going to use Edge Pattern Match. And again, we are establishing a region of interest, and instead of finding a blob, Pattern Match identifies the outer edge of the shape. This is articulated with the blue outer line and centered red dot. Once trained, Pattern Match can identify other shapes and score those as compared to the source trained shape. Additional options can be applied to the pattern to further refine the evaluation results. The plugin that's a little harder to understand and properly use is Presence Absence. Presence Absence can detect a presence or absence of a feature in an image by looking at pixel thresholds, average brightness values, or high contrast edge pixels within the set ROI. You can use Presence Absence in three manners. Threshold, this counts the number of cells above a certain threshold, marked blue in the ROI. Brightness. This calculates an average value of brightness in the image. Edge pixels. This counts the number of edge cells between a low and a high threshold value. Depending on how Clarity has been set up, there's an optional decode plugin. If you have an image that contains a 1D or 2D barcode, you can use this plugin to decode it. If you select the Shape Finder plugin, a step box is added in a red rectangle called Finder, underneath the green Acquire Image step box. The Finder plugin can be used to search for vertical lines, corners, and circles in an image. You'll see a small red dotted square inside your image. This is the Finder plugin's region of interest. Within this region of interest, the Finder plugin will look to find a line, corner, or circle. If you drag the ROI to a different part in the image, where a shape can be found, and depending on the settings of the Finder plugin, the ROI may become green, indicating a successful shape find. Finally, there's the Measure plugin. The function of this plugin is to measure the distance in pixels between two or more previous plugin steps in your job list. As an example, it will measure the distance between an identified pattern match and an identified shape find. 
The real power of this plugin is that it can utilize and leverage identified components to verify or measure complex relationships within the image. This video has only skimmed the surface of machine vision, how it functions, and what it is capable of. But as it was said before, good tools in the hands of creative, knowledgeable experts can produce amazing results, and machine vision never gets tired, blinks, or takes its eyes off the task at hand. This is Mark Waterman, Director of Design for JDAC, saying thanks for watching.